Hey, hey, my creative friends. It's Shannon from Shannon Studio. Here to talk about creativity, maybe leave a few tips for you, and just get you excited to um, make a mind shift, to be excited to have more creativity in your life, live a creative lifestyle. And that is a huge umbrella that sometimes I don't think we realize that it's it really is a huge umbrella. And there's Trisha. Hello, Trisha. Hey, hey. Um, uh, talk to my daughter. I think I can't, you know, my days are off when in Sweden and they're in the States. And so my it, it gets off. So sometimes I don't know if I'm talking her morning or her night or, you know, my hi, Carrie. Hey, hey to you too. Um, so I was talking to one of my daughters. She had gone over to my some of my family in Utah for a big family gathering and they were just just tons of family, tons of kids, and I do miss that. I miss that this year. But she, when she, part, you know, it's like, tell me what you know you did and everything. And she said everybody was so, so nice and everything. And but everybody kept asking me, how you know, how's it going? How's you know, how are you dating anybody? How's school? What classes are you taking? And and they just kept asking questions and and. Um, she said every time I turn around everybody's asking and I thought that I said well, you know They love you and they're just curious to know what you're up to because they don't see you very often and so it Made me think today today. I had a, I had a really good day um, I went to a little um, Joseph took Joseph to a little um, birth not birthday breakfast breakfast activity for the kids in our church group and um, so the adults were there too. And I kind of noticed when you're in Sweden, you kind of go as a group because these people lived an hour away. So you ride train after train to get there. So it's not like you just drop them off and then leave. So everybody's there and and um, it, it was fun for Joseph because he got to play with kids and he just had a great time. And But I also had a great time because I got to talk to you know some people and and it was so good because even after everybody else left I stayed and was able to talk to people even some people even more one-on-one -on -one. and it was just really really um, really good you know just really good to and to find out things well that kind of leads into what I'm going to talk about tonight which is social curiosity and I'm going to backtrack a little bit talking about um, reading a, a little quote about um, from Scientific American that says, New experiences can shift our perspective and inspire creative leaps. And then another one, from same thing from Scott um, Kaufman, he says, um, openness to new experiences is the strongest and most consistent personality trait that predicts creative achievement in the arts and the sciences. And so that openness to new experiences, that curiosity goes, goes in hand with that. Um, and it, there's several different types of curiosity, but curious, social curiosity is when you are curious about people, when you're curious about um, what they do, how they do it, and, um, and why at, and talking to them and asking why you do something in a certain way. And in the, what I'm going to see, Trisha says, growing up in Oregon, church was the only time I saw my church friends. Yes, yeah, so, I mean, and if that's your social social circus, and she said, Trisha says, it is a new level of important to be there. Um yeah, when when that's your that's your soul and that's the only time you can do that, it you realize the scarcity of it and that it is important to you, and that's kind of the way I feel it here. When you live in Utah, you're around a lot of people. If you're of my same faith, you're around a lot of people who are the same faith, and so it's not the scarcity thing. When you start to move away, and and even in Sweden, it's not that it's ter it's like really scarce, but they're we're really far apart. And as far as if you don't have a car and that sort of thing. But so I got sidetracked. <laughs> not that I, I, not that I mind that tradition, but I just got sidetracked. So um, 
talking to people. So today I was able to talk to some people I haven't ever sat down and talked to and I was able to ask questions and, and there were some things that I didn't know about and, and I felt comfortable enough to ask and to find out things and it was just so, uh, my, my perspective was just opened up and um, it, it's, it, it's, it's, it's exci it feeds you in a different way. It's not like I sat down and made a piece of art today, but it, it fed me in a different way. Um, one of the quotes out of the five dimensions of curiosity is merely describing a day when you felt curious has been show, shown to boost mental and physical energy by 20% more than recounting a time when you're profound, of profound happiness. So even talking about it, I think there's something in the curiosity because you're learning. You're learning things. I learned things about people today and I learned things about situations I didn't have an understanding of. And it started to help me to connect some dots on another level too. So, um, um, oh, and it says on that, continued on that, and curiosity propels us toward deeper engagement. When you're able to sit there and talk with some, with people and to be able to ask those questions, and they ask me lots of questions too about our lives and in our situation. And when you are able to break down that barrier and have that kind of curiosity where you're, you're just wanting to understand things and wanting to know, not in a salacious sort of way, but because it's, it's important and it's an, it's, it, you're, you're curious in a way that is, is healthy curiosity. Then it just, it, it, like I said, it, it broadens your perspective. It makes you more, I think, have more empathy. A lot of things that it does. Um, so, um, let's see. So there was something I wanted to say about the Harper Business Review. Hmm. I don't know. So, um, it says, and this kind of goes to just what I said. People become curious upon realizing that they lack desired knowledge. I realized today as I was talking to some people and I realized how open they were and approachable they were and just nice people. I felt comfortable to ask a question. I that I don't really try to pry, but it was like I was okay because I realized I don't know something. I really don't know this area. So I think it's okay to ask. And I, I mean, I felt like it was okay to ask that they're receptive to that and they would share. And it was, they were, and it was, and it was just good. So my tip for tonight is to be socially curious. And what, and I, the reason I say that is because you are coming into the holidays and you're going to be around a lot of family um, and you're gonna be around people you maybe don't even know. A lot of times we, you know, when I was a college student, I went to, you know, people's houses I didn't know. And so um, take the time to ask people about who they are, what they're like, and they say something and you, if they say something and you have a question in your mind and you feel it's appropriate, ask them. Ask them about it and, and build your curiosity, your curiosity muscles, build those being able to, because it's not, I don't think it's natural. I, oh, that's what I was gonna say. I, the business, Harvard Business Review uh, magazine that I have, it had a little quiz about, um, the the five I think it was five different um, curiosities about about um, the four or five types of curiosities and which one you were stronger in and I was you know social curiosity for me was kind of middle of the road so it's kind of like I need to I needed to work on that I need to you know boost that a little bit for myself and because um, sometimes yeah I just do and it's just something I need to work on and so today was a, a great day for me to to really feel the benefits of it and to um, and to strengthen and start to strengthen those muscles and so you know talk to people this hot these holiday don't go in the corner and just get on your phone put your phone down go talk to people get take a shorter nap go talk to people just reach out to people um, and and be there and be part be engaged you know holidays don't come around very often and you know you can go back to your daily routines. Take the opportunity in the next month and a half to really make connections. 
to really um, have those new experiences. It really is, was a blessing for me today to be able to do that. You will start to find that, you know, being curious about your friends, you don't even have to go to strangers. Just be curious with your friends and talk to them on a, on a, a like it's a deeper engagement, deeper level. So that is the tip. Be socially curious with um, people these holidays. And remember, you have a creative heartbeat, so listen for it. And I will be back tomorrow, and we can talk more about creativity. And I will see you. Bye.